I was at BlizzCon a few weeks ago and while it was different from the previous years, it seems to have restored the faith in both Blizzard and Overwatch. Let's have a look. Hey guys and dames, it's from the Omnic Post. BlizzCon landed over two weeks ago. The first BlizzCon in four years after a pandemic and some internal issues. This was the third time I had the honor of being at the event and I definitely noticed the difference. Previously, BlizzCon was more about sharing info, insights, behind the scenes information. The whole process is celebration of everything Blizzard. There were a lot more panels, a lot more side events. There was a separate community night and a closing night. And a more open floor plan that invited players to discover all of the other IPs. This new BlizzCon was still a celebration. But the best way to put it is that their approach was more... Careful. Sure, we got to see further into the future than ever before, but in less detail. There was no talk with voice actors, no art panels, no deep dives, well, except from the MAGA one. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Things change, they evolve, including BlizzCon. Heck, even Blizzard has evolved over the last few years. All those years ago, the last time I was at BlizzCon, Blizzard was a little more rock and roll. But since, they have seemed to lost a bit of that edge. The result of some people at the company interpreting rock and roll as a free pass to be an abusive d it's always the few that ruin it for the rest. Nowadays, Blizzard is uh, safer. And to be honest, for a company their size, yeah, that might be the best way forward. But that safer state that they're in right now is not something that happened overnight. The perception of Blizzard as a company has been very negative the last few years, ever since that bomb exploded back in the summer of 2020. There are two things that helped to turn that around. Well, actually three. The most obvious one being the actual changes at the company, which is an ongoing process of improvement. But I think it is clear that they have made some meaningful changes over the last two years. The other two are the acquisition by Microsoft and, yeah, BlizzCon. Microsoft buying ABK has already removed some of that Activision stain from our favorite company. It almost feels like a liberation of sorts that didn't necessarily turn things around immediately, but that did open up some options. It gives Blizzard the freedom to become the company that they want to be. To have Xbox boss Phil Spencer take the stage at BlizzCon to tell us that it is up to the employees and us as a community to define the future of Blizzard. That was a heartwarming moment. Oh, goosebumps. Maybe small tear. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was crying like a baby. Again. Well, you know. At this point, the future is open. It can go in any direction, but I'm optimistic. Especially after BlizzCon. I got to talk to some people that actually work at Blizzard. And some of them seem to be subscribed to this channel. Hi. And in every single instance, there was optimism. There was pride. Someone literally told me that the Overwatch team specifically is in the best and optimistic state that it has been in years. They are fans, they are excited, and they cannot wait to start this journey with us. Or continue this journey with us. I've talked plenty about all of this in previous videos. And most of it was me reading into the tweets of employees at Blizzard, my knowledge of the industry, and my common sense, or empathy. Well, maybe a mix of both. While well, BlizzCon confirmed that I was correct with all of my assumptions. How the team suffers when we as a community turn against them, especially when the reasons are out of their control. Corporate. How much they were held back, how they got distracted by upper management at ABK, and above all, how much they love this game. I ran into Aaron Keller a few times. For some reason, Jared Nurse was hiding from me. Understandable. The enthusiasm and the joy that Aaron has in his eyes when he talks about Overwatch, about his team, about Blizzard, about us as a community. I wish you could all experience that, but I do think you caught a glimpse of it during the panels. Team 4 showing off the four next heroes in various degrees of uh, detail, ranging from the deep dive on MAGA to the uh, easter egg for the next tank after that in the, uh, the one screen. Yeah. That was funny. But it was unprecedented. There was no one that could have predicted this. It is all part of a huge shift within Blizzard and Team 4 that has one goal. Getting the company, their products and us as a community aligned with each other. One big family. And not the same family that we were a few years ago. An evolution of that. But the family that we most likely need to be right now. As you might tell, I am optimistic. Which does not mean that I'm blind to the issues that we're still facing at this point. But I do think that the company is ready to tackle them in due time and with varying degrees of success. Because above all, they are still human. But with a strong will to succeed. And you know what? I'm not the only one seeing this. Overall, the perception of Blizzard as a company, or the Overwatch team specifically, or any of the teams within Blizzard has changed. 
it seems that we have entered a new era and that is exactly why i have decided to buckle down on my overwatch content now in case you do not follow my personal channel this might come as a bit of a surprise but as i discussed in a video on that channel i came back from blizzcon with the sense that i failed and that i had a choice to make to either step away or buckle down and buckle down it is you'll see a lot of changes in my content in the coming few weeks here on youtube on twitch on social the podcast everywhere and by that next blizzcon the omnic post is going to be a force to be reckoned with so brace yourselves but tell me how did you enjoy blizzcon help me out by leaving the answer in the comments below youtube kind of likes it when you put words in there or emotes or uh, i don't know a calculation and they don't care what they just want to see you kind of type something so please do. A big thank you to my patrons for their support. You guys are legends. And you too can become part of the Omnic Post family over on patreon.com slash the Omnic Post. But above all, make sure to subscribe. All right, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Bye bye. <laughs>